We're having a little afternoon cake and coffee. Julian just went to the bakery and picked up this cake for me and made me a coffee. So we're just going to be here and then we have our reservation at about 7 p.m. tonight. Hallo meine Leute. Wir sind auf dem Weg zum Restaurant und ich habe viel Hunger. Are you excited? It's our first Valentine's Day. Well, I mean, we were definitely talking this time last year, but we were across the world from each other, so it's nice to be able to go to dinner tonight. Oh my sweet baby. Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. As you can see in the reflection of the window, it is so sunny and beautiful today. It's actually warmer outside, so I'm so happy. Julian and I just had a little Saturday brunch, and I am about to leave to go to Cologne today. I'm going to take myself out on a day. I'm meeting a friend later. We're going to go shopping, and I really, really, really need to pick up some stuff today. I posted on my Instagram a poll of which work bag you guys liked better because that is something that I want to purchase today and I will insert this story right here but a lot of you guys voted for the backpack style one because it's a little bit more functional I think um, so I think I might get that one. Cologne is where I lived last summer and I love it so much. It's a little short train ride away so I'm really excited to show you guys. I just cleaned the kitchen, organized a little bit. I'm just going to probably tidy up, do some last minute things until I take my train. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights <laughs> And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Alright guys, so my shopping day is over. I was so successful. I got shoes, I got a new work bag, and now I'm at the grocery store. As you can tell, Julian met me here. We're home from the grocery store, and I am just so happy. First, I have to show you guys, our apartment is so clean because while I was out today, Julian cleaned the entire apartment and all the floors and the bathroom and all the tables and stuff, and... I just wanted a moment of recognition because I think that is just like so thoughtful because he's actually leaving tomorrow so he didn't really clean it for himself, he cleaned it for me because it's going to be me living here I guess for the next week or two, a week and a half by myself so yeah I thought that was really sweet and yeah very thoughtful. So this is our grocery haul, um, basically I picked up some items extra that I wanted to have for the next week or so 
So for dinner tonight, we're making our classic uh, pasta with peas and ham that we always make, and I think we've made it in like two or three videos. So um, we're making that, so I can just skip ahead. I also got some apples, a zucchini, some broccoli, and we have some milk. I got some of this uh, skewer, skewer, skewer? I don't know how to, skewer. So yeah, this is like Icelandish, or Iceland from Iceland, <laughs> and um, this is just like a good natural like yogurt basically. I also got some honey, and I'm gonna put some apples and granola, and I think that'll make a good breakfast. I got a fresh chicken breast, which I'm gonna cook tomorrow night. We got more toothpaste, we got a teriyaki sauce, and then Julian got this pudding, which we're going to have as like a little dessert. So the dinner has been completed. So we have our normal pasta that you guys have definitely seen before. And then we had this bread that we got at the bakery this morning and we had one tomato left so i made like a mini bruschetta kind of tomato sauce i know we don't have an actual baguette because this is actually like a normal bretzel bread but we just are going to have like a mini <laughs> little uh knockoff version of bruschetta because we made it last week and we had the ingredients i have my glass of wine so perfect night and i'm really excited to eat this this is the assembled dinner, just so you guys can see it. Um, yeah, very tasty. It looks kind of interesting, but it is really good, I promise. Ich hätte gerne zwei äh, Sesamplötchen. Bitte schön. Äh, okay, dann äh, zwei normales Plötchen. Ja, das war's. Schönen Tag noch. Danke. Simple Sunday breakfast. We have these normal little bread rolls, but I've never had them when they're like squishy and warm, so I'm really happy about that. We have some pudding that Julian made last night, but we fell asleep, so we didn't eat it, so we're having this morning. We have cream cheese, we have butter, we have these things that are called Ested, and they're like chocolate squares. We have a banana, I have a little fruit smoothie that I got yesterday, like mango, passion fruit, and uh, yeah, apple, banana, orange. So, let's dig in. So, as you guys saw this morning, I just had a chill little brunch with Julian, and He's left now, so he's going to be out of town for the next week and a half or two weeks. So I have spent the afternoon watching the second To All The Boys movie on Netflix, and I just started the lock and key something sort of mystery type of series. I wanted to show you guys what I picked up yesterday while I was out shopping. So I decided to go with this work bag. I thought that this would be maybe able to hold a little bit more stuff. I also thought this would be useful if I do go to grad school because it just looks like a traditional backpack and I feel like it could hold a lot of things. So it has a little laptop sleeve. It has a small pocket on the inside. It has a pocket on the outside. And I was really torn between the two backpacks because I liked that the other option had leather going all the way down the front, but I thought that this kind of style was just a little bit more classic and maybe something that I would be able to use for a long time because it has this canvas material. They also gave me a free little canvas tote, which is so perfect because I love using these for grocery shopping, so I got to pick out one, so I chose this one with the surfboard and the palm tree, so I thought that was really cute. And I also got a new pair of running shoes. I already unpackaged these out of the box, but I'm obsessed with these. I think that they are so, so cute, first of all. The color, the style, everything is so beautiful, but I actually love them because they're really, really great for running. They have a ton of support. I actually asked the guy who was working at the store which pair of the two that I had been trying on did he recommend for running, and he was like, neither of them, and then he brought me this pair. He said it was the last one, and this color, and it happened to be my size. I felt that it was meant to be, and I'm just so obsessed with these. I think that they're so cute, and also what I love is that they're going to be actually great for working out, which is why I purchased them. And now it is the afternoon, so I want to make a small little snack while I watch my Netflix shows.
Okay, you guys, so my dinner is served. If you guys are wondering exactly what I made, I kind of showed it, but basically I just made some rice with chicken and broccoli and a soy sauce egg, and I have some seaweed here because I think it's like the perfect complement to any meal. And then I also used the stem part of the broccoli and added it with some fresh garlic, some soy sauce, and some sesame oil to make just kind of like a little... I don't know, it's not really pickled, but just kind of like a little contrast because this is served cold. And I am so excited. This meal is like incredible. I'm gonna eat this now and I'm so excited. Hi guys, so I'm just sitting here on my couch and I finished dinner. I just cleaned the dishes and I'm letting them dry. And I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys as kind of a closer for this video. I know the past few vlogs have been uh, more like weekend in my life, less like Monday through Friday style work weeks in my life. So tomorrow I'm starting one that I will be doing probably the entire week, starting with Monday, which I'm excited about. I still hope you guys have enjoyed these past videos, I've really, really enjoyed filming them. It's been something that's just super fun for me and it's such a fun creative outlet and I haven't felt this excited about my YouTube videos probably since I started my channel. So um, I'm in a really happy place with that. And just in terms of life in general, overall, everything has been great. I love my job. I love where I'm living. I love my apartment. I am super just happy to be living here with my boyfriend for most of the time. Like I said, he's not officially moving in for a couple weeks until his internship starts. So I wanted to just kind of talk to you guys one-on-one -on -one tonight since I have the place to myself for like the next week and a half or so. Something that I've been trying to really work on lately is being more independent. Um, independent in my relationship and also just independent in life itself. I will be living with my boyfriend um, here in a few weeks, but in the times that he hasn't been here, I've noticed that it has been a little bit difficult for me to not feel lonely, which I think is normal. I feel like since I've been in Germany, I have been more dependent on my relationship to kind of help me through this transitional period of adjusting to living in a totally new country, which I think is really normal, especially because I'm still working on building my roots here. But that being said, moving forward, I'd really like to just start incorporating habits that um, help me to be more independent. For example, like I did this weekend, going on a day trip, um, without my significant other. So I'm really trying to push myself out of my comfort zone to do things by myself, like even going to the bakery by myself, going to the grocery store by myself. These are really simple things, but sometimes I can get a bit of anxiety about it because I know that I may not understand everything because it's in German or my German's not good if I have to ask somebody a question. Um, usually I can get my point across and my German is improving very much I think since I've been here. Being like my own person is so important to me. And honestly just being at a place where I'm really happy with who I am because I feel like um, there's that quote, you can't love anybody until you love yourself, that kind of thing. I still think that I don't have to be fully perfect to love somebody else, but I am trying to get to a good place where I have a good relationship with myself and therefore I'm bringing good things into my relationship. So yeah, this is kind of a ramble and my battery is about to die, but I just wanted to share and speak from my heart tonight with you guys since I am alone in my apartment and it's a bit lonely on Sunday nights. I'm not gonna lie, I get the Sunday scaries uh, pretty much every Sunday that I'm alone because when I'm working, I'm totally fine and I don't usually feel as lonely. But on the weekends, I notice on Sundays specifically, <laughs> if I'm alone, it's a little, it's a little sad. So anyway, um, just wanted to be honest with you guys about how I'm feeling. I am looking forward to the time when I'm living with my boyfriend. I'm gonna go to bed around 10, I think. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit, but I'm watching my Netflix show right now. 